Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 91. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for Chapter 10, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, we're talking about period returns and we want to look at a coupon bond. Now, in this video, we're going to see how to calculate dollar returns, nominal rate return, and the real rate. The real rate tells us the actual change in purchase power taking consideration uh, of taking inflation into consideration. Now here's our situation. We have a face value of $1,000, a coupon rate. Oh, that means it'll give us 6%. We're going to have compounding periods one time, so we get a 60 buck, 6% times that 60 buck interest payment at the end. Bond price at the beginning was this. And at the end of the year, regardless of whether we sell it and get this cash in or we're holding it, right? we, we can still calculate returns. All right, uh, what is our return for the year? Well, let's first figure out our interest. Hey, our face value times our coupon value. That times that dollar returns. Oh, that's the total amount. So we have to say equals the end amount minus the begin amount. That tells us the capital gains uh, amount plus the interest. In our last video, we calculated two different rates of return. There was a uh, it was a stock, so it was a dividend rate, but we could calculate, you know, the interest rate, but we already know that. 6% uh, plus whatever the difference, there's a percentage there. But here we're just going to do total dollar return, 64 bucks. Now the nominal, well, we just go, hey, this is the amount in total we gained divided by the begin amount. That will tell us whoop, our nominal rate. That doesn't take into consideration inflation. Now let's do our real rate. And we have to remember back to chapter six, our formula, our Fisher formula for inflation. So we'll say, I'm um, to take into consideration the relationship between real, nominal, and inflation. I'm going to say one plus our newly calculated nominal divided by one plus our inflation. Now I'm shooting this in 2010, so I have, and inflation is very low, so I went ahead and put a, a low inflation rate. All right, so our real rate, that's one plus, but we really would like to see it as just a percentage change. So that's just the change. If we, as we've seen many times in this class, that would, we could use that to multiply. The one represents the principal, the original amount, and the the extra little bit there represents the change. All right, now let's calculate our real dollar return. Well, hey, the whole point of calculating a real rate is so that we have a rate, right? So we can simply say, hey, whatever we started with times our uh, real rate. So we have 54.35. Now I'd like to check that. I'm going to calculate the total real value at the end. Oh yeah, well this is just the change. So for the total, we say one plus this real rate. Remember, real rate tells us the actual change in purchasing power. So in terms of buying stuff, we increased our from this amount here, we increased by this amount in terms of purchasing power. All right, so there's our total rate. So to check this, we better uh, take the ending real minus where we started, and boom, that'll give us the same answer, these two right here. All right, so we saw how to do dollar returns, dollar amounts, the, the actual dollars you get back, the nominal rate, the real rate for a coupon bond. All right, we'll see you next video.